What's up, everybody? It's Dave here. Welcome to my What's Up Dave episode 27. Okay, today got no special guest. Today is just only me. So today just uh, have uh, some chit chat. Okay, so today we talk about opportunity. Later, I have a small topic that to share. So you, if you compare uh our life in maybe 10 years ago and now you can see that actually is very 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 different uh you can uh, in 10 years ago like life is like very routine and not much stress right so every day you just go for work whatever you earn maybe you can cover your expenses you can buy a lot of things you know a lot of my friends even before the end of the month they really uh use their salary until finish okay so this is their life uh at least whatever they earn can last to the last few days of the month before they need to uh save or maybe eat lesser okay eat lesser meal or eat lesser lunch okay so but now you definitely cannot do that why because uh these two years a lot of things have happened first is the pandemic the pandemic is lasted for two years plus and it may seem that uh it's over because most of the countries are opening their borders and they try to leave uh with the virus except china okay china they want to have zero tolerance uh now i think shanghai is in a lockdown mode again and this is most country will not uh do lock, lockdown mode again uh. so they are opening because they want the economy to recover they want more visitors they want to have uh, the company opening up more people uh, can come out to buy things so that everyone can live like normal and they have to make sure that 90 percent of the people are vaccinated before they can uh, do those border opening but if you see uh if your pay is the same as previously like 10 years ago and I can guarantee you, you cannot survive now. Okay? The pandemic has drive a lot of uh, our necessity cost to higher than previously. Now, the Russia and Ukraine war has uh, caused the uh, electricity, uh, maybe even gas, as oil to become more expensive. So we can see that uh a lot of inflation has been going out these two years plus it's higher than our previous years but our pay is still the same the increment may be 100 200 but it doesn't able to cover the inflation in the normal range when there's no much huge global event uh, the inflation rate is around three to four percent okay so these two years maybe the inflation rate will be more than four percent and if your pay is not able to have an increment of more than four per percent yearly then uh, we'll be in trouble we our money is uh, getting, actually uh, getting devalued or losing money okay because our bank interest is only one percent or lesser so we definitely cannot cover inflation so uh 10 years ago there's there's a lot of opportunity maybe appear to you and you doesn't care or you didn't even recognize it but 10 years now opportunities still presented to you are you able to recognize all these uh opportunities and i can say 
there are far more opportunities currently than 10 years ago. Why? This pandemic has created a lot of digital marketers or digital business millionaires. Okay? Why? Because, well, in last year, everyone locked down. No one can go out to buy things or sell things or do business. They can only do online business. So a lot of people uh, switch from physical store to online store to become online marketer. They sell their things online, like e-commerce. Okay? And they actually make more money than they sell physically. So you can see that opportunity lies when there is crisis. So how are you going to recognize all these opportunity? Because there are people who blame the pandemic, blame, blame their company for folding up, blame this, blame that. It doesn't make anything uh, better. Okay? Complaining will not make your life better. Instead, think of solution. How are you going to counter this situation? So, and other than that, digital marketer, a lot of people are playing crypto. So, they are also crypto millionaire and billionaires. They are also uh, stocks become millionaire and billionaire. So, what is the difference between this group of people and those normal group of people? Because one thing, one thing that division differentiate them, that is, they able to recognize opportunities. Okay, not everyone can recognize opportunities. Sometimes when some your friends or maybe you see some ads appearing to you multiple times, maybe you can't recognize. You just swipe off. You just brush it off, but. If you do really recognize that you need an opportunity to improve your life, one ad, one friend to introduce one opportunity, that will be enough. Okay, So you need to ask yourself what you want in life. Is struggling with your current pay is what you want to do for the rest of your life? If, it, if this is your main goal, then I congrats you, okay? you can carry on this kind of life because nothing will change. No miracle will change. No miracle will come to you if you keep doing the same thing over and over again. So you definitely need to do some changes to your life. Okay? Change to mm, the way you do things and change uh, <clears throat> how you think about things. Okay? Change your mentality. So you definitely need to uh, recognize opportunity. Okay, So when you have the burning desire to change, opportunities will come and you will recognize. When you do not have any burning desire to change your life, even thousand opportunities come to you, you will not recognize it. Okay, So you need to... <clears throat> change okay initiate the change just like two years ago when the pandemic just started i initiate the change because i know my life cannot go down like most of the people when pandemic happened and i know having a day job is not secure because your future is being controlled by the company your management so they can ask you to go anytime they want and they can they can give any reason which may sometimes may not be just justifiable but they just want you to go so i would rather control my own life my own time my own future so no one can ask me to go other than myself okay so you need to initiate the change then opportunity will come then you of all the opportunity, you gauge which one suit you do best, then you go and uh, start the opportunity. Okay, so you still can start this opportunity as a side hustle together with your job. Okay, 
only when your side hustle can cover or over, uh, overtake your pay, your current day job pay, then you can quit your job. So it is important to have a side hustle investments to cover your inflation. Okay, your day job can never cover inflation. So it's very very important that you need to have something else. Yeah, it's not another part-time job. Okay, another part-time job is useless. Okay, according to the Rich Dad Poor Dad ESBI quadrant employee and the self-employed, they are trading their time away for money. Okay, so this one you will never be financially free or time free. You will become more busy, but yet you might not earn a lot of money. Okay. So you are trading time away for your money. So according to Robert Kiyosaki, the B and the I quadrant will give you the time and financial freedom. B is business. You definitely need to start a business. And what kind of business will give you the time and money? Okay. Not every kind of business will give you that. You definitely need to uh, start a business that you are on it, not in it. What is on it? Means you do not trade time for the business. You do not trade a lot of time for the business. I know pe most people uh, thinking that, well, let's start business. I think I need to work very early, like 4 a.m., then work until maybe and the next stage, 1 to 2 a.m. No. Okay. This is in the business. For example, hawker. Hawkers is in the business. Very early, they need to wake up like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. to prepare the ingredients. Uh, maybe you sell uh, chicken rice or bar chow mi or curry rice, okay? So you need to wake up very early, go to the market, buy your ingredients, then go to your store, prepare all those stuff, then get ready for customers to come and wait 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. So you, you sell until... Maybe at night, 10 plus, 11 plus. Okay, so practically, practically you can no time for yourself because you need to sell from Monday to Sunday. If you're off, means you got no income for that day. So this is in the business. What is on the business? Business that maybe you only need to manage it like two to three hours a day and the rest of the day you can do whatever you like. Pursue your hobbies, or spend with your uh, family. So what kind of business that you can be on it? There is a lot of business. Uh, for example, digital marketing. Okay, digital marketing, you do not need to uh, spend eight hours, 10 hours or 12 hours on it. Why? Because you are relying on internet. Internet is global. Okay, so once your sales funnel or your website or your blog is up and running, it can run 24 times 7. Even when you sleep, as long you have uh, advertisement, you are selling product online, people from all over the world, okay, while you sleep, people wake up in other countries due to time difference, they see your product, they buy, you earn money. So this is what Warren Buffett say, if you cannot find a way to earn money while you sleep, you work until you die. So you definitely need to find a way to earn money while you sleep. Working in a day job can never do that. Okay, You work from 9 to 6. After that, you go back to for dinner and sleep. It doesn't earn you any money. Okay, So it does, this is not efficiently putting money to work. So that's why... Uh, Digital marketing or digital business created a lot of people who learned a lot of money for the past two years because everyone locked down. Okay, then they start online business, become a, maybe a coach online, or sell physical product online, or provide service like creating website for people, creating sales funnel for people, or become a virtual assistant, help people to Photoshop picture, or help people to uh become a chat messenger something like that okay so all this earn them money online so 
you definitely need to in the business you never trade time for more money okay this is very inefficient so you need to have a business that require less time to manage so that you can be time abundance you can see that all the uh, top 10 richest people wealthy people in the world they are actually very free but not free to be like either doing nothing they are pursuing their hobbies or maybe start another business or doing charity etc so you must aim for time abundance not chase money okay never never chase money because money there is thousand and one way to learn uh, to earn it but time you cannot earn it once you spend it that's it you keep moving forward okay we getting older day by day if you don't realize it the next blink of eye maybe you're already 70 years old okay so be conscious of time more than money so you definitely need to find a business that can give you a lot of time but so that you can enjoy okay? our life is so short we can only live 70 to 80 years old how long do you want to work 50 years 60 years work until 70 years old then you sure you can still enjoy maybe by then you become sickly because of the work job nature or the stress or whatever by then you become sickly already or your weak your knees are already weak you can't travel overseas you want to go to the great war of china the steps are so high so long your your leg may be wobbly already. you can't climb so climb to the great war of china or you go want to go to some uh ancient mountains you want to climb up also very difficult so you feel become uh wasting your time by then because in every way also can't go can't work can't go you just wait and die is this the kind of life that you want to pursue okay so always remember find a business that can give you the system that provide you the system to run for you at the back so that you can have more time for yourself okay this is what we call earn money while you sleep only a business with a proven system that can keep running tirelessly at the background generating money at the background then you can be time abundance the next one i okay is of course is investment but you know investment require money so from the business that you do you if you make use of a t half acre six money jar okay one of the jar you can put as investment jar okay whatever money that you split and put inside here you use the jar to do investment be it property investment crypto investment or even stock investment okay so you can do that so before you can do investment you must have a solid business system help you generate money okay so that you do not rely on a day job anymore okay so this is the esbi quadrant in a simple way okay so it's very important that you in the b and the i quadrant okay so today i will share a very small topic about value proposition okay what's value proposition so you want to sell things online you definitely do not want to uh, sell anything okay you just, we are not a uh, general provision shop we sell everything and hope that everyone will come and buy no we are selling thing online we need to streamline our product services and our customer okay so uh, today i will share with you five points on how to do value prop, uh, proposition okay so number one definitely you need to define your ideal customer okay a lot of uh, new 
digital marketers or digital business owner. They think that just by listing your product, take some pictures and upload to the website and hope that someone will buy from them. No. Okay. This is a number one mistake. Okay. You need to find your ideal customer. Okay. You need to know whatever product that you sell or service that you sell, what is your, who is your ideal customer? You need to be have your own niche, niche customer. Okay. You are not jack or old trade, then become master of nothing. Okay. So you need to have your ideal customer and how to find your ideal customer. Okay? You need to streamline from all the customer income group, age group, and maybe what hobbies or what kind of uh, profession, and maybe you want males or female or both, uh, both sexes or you, that's one you need to know uh, your own product very well. Then you can find your ideal customer. Okay? You need to uh, know the pain point and the problem of your customer so that you can find your ideal customer and you don't sell anything I, today i see this thing very good i come take and sell no okay what you like may not be what your customer like you are selling what your customer want not selling what you like or what you want you are the seller you are not a buyer so you need to understand what's your buyer pain point okay when they come to internet to search for solution what kind of solution can you provide to your customer? What kind of pain point do they have for them to go Google for a solution? So how your product can uh, actually match to a customer need? This is your second point. Okay, First point, define your ideal customer. Second point, match the benefit to the customer need okay what does your customer need okay they come online they want maybe they want to uh maybe uh they want to resolve uh some insects okay maybe your pest okay there's some insect infestation in their house so what kind of uh, pest control service you can provide to eliminate this pest are you uh, selling some solution or you selling uh, on house service to remove for them or whatever okay so you need to know uh, what your customer need you don't sell without asking what they want and sell everything to them and expect them to buy no okay so you need to match the benefits of the customer needs this is very very important you don't sell everything okay match the benefits number three be specific on how your benefits will work out for your customer what do you mean by specific specific mean uh maybe there's some statistic some charts on actually how effective your service or your product can help your customer maybe for example 85% of the customer uh, that have used your product saw this uh, so and so benefit, so uh, see, see all, uh, all these effects, etc. Okay, so maybe you have, can say you've got 90% customer satisfaction using these features, these products and services. So you need to specify how your benefit can work for them. You're not just say, hey, this one can work out for you, A, B, C, D, E, that's all. Then how I know whether what you say is true. So you must have some statistics, some charts, maybe maybe even some scientists or doctor uh, carry some words for you, okay? So it's very, very important. You must be specific on your benefits. Number four, you need to be unique. Okay? If you have competitors in the market, so you need to be unique. How else can you sell your product or service that is different from your competitors? So you need to think, okay? How you can 
uh, actually be unique compared to the competitors. And maybe competitors are selling coffees, you're also selling coffees. So maybe there's five competitors selling the same coffee. So how can you make your coffee more unique? Or maybe you can add some ingredients or some other side condiments to help sell your coffees also. So you try to be unique in your product and service. You, you don't be the same as your competitors. So in order not to be the same, you need to research on your competitors so that you will think or even brainstorm on how to be unique from the competitors. And lastly, you need to test your value proposition. Use your current customer okay, to test your value proposition, whether it's work or not. You can do different variation, see which one work, then you use or implement the one that works. So this five point is very important. Identify your ideal customer. Who is your targeted market? You need to know. Match the benefits to the customer need. What is their pain point? What's the problem? You need to understand so that you can match your product or service benefits to them. Number third, you need to be specific of, on the benefits of, that can work up for your customer. Okay, show proof, show evidence. Number four, you need to be unique for your competitors. Number five, you need to test your value proposition. Okay, you don't just launch something without testing. Even you, for example, you want to do uh, marketing advertisement, you definitely need to do different variations to do uh, beta testing, speed testing, etc then you know which one works. You cannot rely on one version only. Okay, if that one version doesn't work, that's it. Your product and service doesn't sell. So you need to have different variation to test your value proposition. Okay, with this fine point, that will uh, help you to draft your copywriting or even your sales presentation online, okay, on how you're going to sell your product and services. Okay. So with this, I'm going to end my episode 27. I will see you next Friday, 9 p.m. for my episode 28. Bye-bye.